What's up guys, it's Killer Elites I'm bringing you guys another tutorial video and this is a very 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 important one I am going to teach you guys how to get the absolute best connection in Call of Duty Black Ops 2 for the Xbox 360 this will almost really obliviate all the effects of lag compensation this will enable you to have the maximum strength connection possible there will be no no problems with your hit detection I guarantee you I have tried it I have learned it and this is a proven method and if you guys don't believe me there are several several other commentators putting out this video right here telling you guys how amazing it is so let's get started just it's a very long process so bear with me first step click on the Windows icon at the bottom and type in CMD and get into your first program which is your command prompt and once you are in your command prompt you're going to type in IP config slash all that's IP C O N F I G slash A L L enter and all this random information is going to come up about your router. Now you most computers you're just going to scroll up a little bit until you get to the section where it says wireless LAN adapter wireless network connection. And below it there's going to be three different things that you are going to have to copy down. So either get out your notepad, get out a piece of paper and a pen and copy this down. The first thing you're going to want to copy down is your subnet mask right here in the middle. Mine is 255.255.255.0. Um, and by the way, if you guys out there are thinking that I'm putting out really confidential information, it's not. A lot of people's are the same, so don't freak out. Um, the next thing you're going to want to copy down is your default gateway, which is for me 192.168.1.1 and the last thing you're gonna wanna copy down is the DNS server um, number do copy down the first one and then if you have a second one copy down the second one not everybody has a second one and if you have a third one don't worry about it and if you if you don't have a second one don't worry about it that's not a problem either and make sure you are copying down your information, not what I am having up here on my screen, because this is all my information. So anyways, once you guys have that all copied down, you're going to go to the Internet Explorer, whatever your main Internet source is, and go to Port Forwarding.com. Oh, I'm sorry I went to the wrong website I th I think it is port for there we go port forward dot com um, just close this advertisement don't worry about that you're gonna wanna go to up here where it says routers go down one to where it says port forwarding guides right here and a whole alphabetical list of router brands are gonna show up just scroll down to wherever your router is, what company your router is. Mine is a Linksys, so I'm going to click on Linksys. And once you have clicked on that, a whole list of router serial numbers for your company is going to show up. Um, if you guys don't know what it is, you can check it on the box that your router came in, or it in fact is on the sticker on the back of your router. And this is my router version so I just click on that and once you have done that you're gonna scroll all the way down to the X's for Xbox 360 once you've gotten down here scroll down to where it says Call of Duty Black Ops 2 right here Xbox 360 Call of Duty Black Ops 2 make sure it says that you just click on that and this is going to give you all the information to create your static IP address onto your router to forward all the data you need to make your connection the strongest possible. Um, just follow these instructions. You're going to have to type in your 
default gateway that you copied down earlier into your URL bar and you're gonna have to sign in to something like this will pop up and you're gonna have to sign in to your router with your username and password once this all comes up just follow these instructions go over to application and gaming and down here where it says entry one you're gonna make your port 3074 if you guys can see this purple Linksys website picture you're gonna go all the way down to the single port forwarding go down here on one of the empty boxes you're gonna type in Xbox external port 3074 internal port 3074 then it says 192.168.1.0 and you can fill that in you're gonna clear that right here it says to IP address you're gonna type in 105 and you're going to enable
If you guys liked the video, please subscribe and leave a rating, and I'll see you guys next time.